Hello guys, welcome back to Laravel 5.8 growth application part 2. So in our last video, we created our database, we created our resource controller, we created our migration file, we created our route as well. So in this part, we will create our build files and we will try to migrate our migration table from the application to our database. For wasting time, let's get started how to create our five rates and how to migrate our database fields into our main database here. As you see, our database is empty. Here is empty. So, how to create, how to migrate our database from the application to our MySQL database? So, now let's start to migrate our database from our application to the MySQL database. Okay, now let's open our terminal. I will type php artisan migrate okay and hit enter <coughs> okay as you see now our our tables are migrated to our database so let's see our database here let's let's try and refresh our database and see whether our table will be inside okay Yeah, you <coughs> okay now we have our tables inside our mysql database we have migration we got we have the password reset we have the student table we have the user table so in our project here in database open database come migration and you, you see we have all those things here as well we have user table, we have the password table, we have the student table. So, after, after migrating these tables into our MySQL database, now what we need, we need to create a route, resource route in our route part. So, come to the route folder the route folder open the route folder here open the web.php and below here i write the code like route clone clone resource okay resource then i will write backslash okay the first parameter will be backslash okay and then I will write, I will write the controller name here student controller okay so then I close it that's all but we need so then I, I will comment this one I will comment this route I have commented that route so here is our route that have everything that contains everything in our our controller here Let's try and, and create uh, our blade files in the uh, resources folder. Let's open resources folder. <coughs> let's open the view folder. Okay. In, let, let's create one folder called student. So as for me, I have already created the, the folder called students here. So inside the student, I will create my blade files there. I, so let's start creating our blade files our first blade files will be create.blade.php and hit enter the second route for the blade file will be edit.blade.php hit enter okay the dot blade file will be show.blade.php hit enter and the the fourth file will be dashboard dashboard dot blade dot php so we have four blade files here now but 
the blood cells are empty right now everything is empty so let me show you how it's work let's go back to the let's go back to the controller in the uh, index function here let's create one variable called students students equals to okay the model colon colon so we, we can say all the all will will retrieve everything in the student table from the database let's return the view the view will be in dashboard okay so i can say students dot dashboard okay so plug the variable into our dashboard blit so right here compact bracket the compact so let us students okay so here we are so we have uh, we have created our one our one function that is index so let's go back to our dashboard blit our dashboard blit here let me just show you an example let me just uh, write h1 okay h1 then i will say hello friends welcome back to laravel 5.8 crud okay crud tutorial okay <clears throat> so let's save this file and and open our browser and run this file and see whether it will work or not so let's okay refresh our page after refreshing our page okay you see we have hello friends welcome back to laravel 5.8 crow tutorial so now let's go back to our project our here our dashboard let's go back to our dashboards then i will extend i will extend this the main part of the file then it will be layout dot app okay so i will open open section inside will be the content so i will close the section as well end section okay so then inside this section here we will have all our codes inside here okay so first of all let's create diff let's create our, our our table and our header of the dashboard file okay <coughs> so first of all let's type uh, <coughs> row the class row okay if class call md 12 so then after that we we have we need to create our div class pull right so div class pull right so it will be like this pull right okay so as we have all this thing now so inside here i will write my title of the dashboard i will use the macro i will use the macro okay so i, I use the macro function behavior so inside this macro i will say level 5.8 tutorial tutorial from scratch step by step you can say this step by step okay so in this will be our 
our header our dashboard header let's so let, let me show you here let's refresh our page again okay you see here is our header this is our header right okay so let's go back again and and after this div close let's try and create another div that will be our button create so let's write div okay <coughs> let's say div uh, okay div pull pull right again so that will be so we we need to have href so let's open the functionality then inside here i will create the route the route will be route it will be slash after that slash no, the route will be like this. The route will be create, okay? No, the route will be dashboard. Dashboard, I think. Yeah. Dash, dashboard will be dashboard. Okay, so after this, let's add here the class will be, our class will be class btn our class will be <coughs> so after let's uh, let's add class class will be btn btn Here, this will be our class our class will be okay so let's add class here. It will be our so class. It will be BTN BTN. So let's add class <coughs> here. Class like be our class BTN BTN success. BTN. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> let's make it like yes. this. Like so inside BTN here you say success, okay, register yeah. register new student. Okay. Let's make it like this. Okay, in here we can write register. Register new student. New student. So let's let's open our browser and see the stuff itself. Type here students. Okay. To be students. Okay. So let's enter. Let's check. Okay, you see now we have our button here. Uh, register new student. So seems like our application is going fine. So I will stop here till the next part. Part three. I will show you. I will show you how to create the, the table and how to retrieve data from the database to the table. So stay tuned like subscribe to the channel if you have any query regarding to the application please feel free to comment in the comment section so thank you so much i'll catch up with you guys in the next tutorial thank you